my name is Makoto and I'm from uh, Ethereum Name Service, ENS team, and I'm yeah. here to present uh, SDNS, which integrates uh, DNS server with IPFS and ENS, so that you can have, so this side is an ENS manager, which you can administer Ethereum names, and uh, that's actually all IPFS, but it has a name with an uh, ENS name called matoku.eth, so you can uh, yeah, have like a decentralized web uh, in Oh, That's incredible. Yeah. So guide us a little bit about the pro of the like guide us through the process by yeah. which a domain name actually comes to life and how you map it to content. I'll say it, please. So how does a domain name come to life? Yeah. Like how does one person register a domain name via the Ethereum yeah. name service and okay. how that maps yeah. into IPFS content? Yeah, so like ETH domain is actually you can buy from this site. Yeah. It's like five dollars per year. And then, so it's first come first serve. So you just buy it here, and yeah. after that, um, let me <laughs> try to make it a bit smaller because right. I can't see the important bits. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. So here, uh, I can't make it small. <gasps> no. <-da>! What's happening? <laughs> yeah. But there's a side where usually uh, here you can put the address. Yeah. Maybe you go scroll down. You can actually see the content which has an IPFS hash. Okay. So usually if you click that, it goes to the IPFS gateway. Right. But we, we have a special mapping that can, yeah. if you go to matoku.is.link, yeah. it shows the IPFS content hash. But okay. for this science fair, we made a special Wi-Fi network where it can resolve yeah. imaginary top-level domain called .eth. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Because it's still not a globally registered yeah. domain, top-level domain. Yeah, we don't, no Are one you? owns it. It's like owned by Ethiopia. Right. Without for Ethiopia, so we have to ask to them, like, okay. can I have an ETH domain? But, Is it going to happen? Do you think it's uh, going to happen? Probably, maybe, yeah. Okay, that, that, that would be awesome. All right, so when you change a hash, when you change the content hash, does that make a transaction in the Ethereum blockchain? Uh, what so happens? What currently, is the currently, it's, hash? currently, it only supports IPFS. Right. So, like, if you change the ha content hash and it changes, you have to basically update from from ENS manager. So, which in turn is a serial transaction. We are currently have one pull request to support IPNS. Okay. So, once IPNS is resolved, then like it, you don't have to change every time IPFS actually. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, it's coming. Yeah. That's that's very cool. So, where do you think is the strength in the integration between ENS and IPFS? Uh, where do you think we can go together? Yeah, I think uh, when we like, talk about ENS, people usually think about Ethereum ad to resolve Ethereum address. Yeah. But it's a very common question, like how do I have a like decentralized web? And the people initially ask, like, oh, maybe I should resolve IP address today, but that's not, that's not. <laughs> you have to put IPFS, right? Then they're exactly. pretty good. So yeah, like because there's yeah. a difference between finding content by its location and finding content by yeah. its the content itself, by yeah. authenticating the yeah. content itself. And I think this is quite good to appeal to the any like front-end and JavaScript developer because yeah. they some of them unless they have a Node.js skill, yep. they are more into front-end. So they don't they are like, kind of less confident managing server side hundred nodes of traffic. But if right. you upload this content uh, app into the IPFS, they are kind of free from like hundred you know, server load because the IPFS right. you know distributed and manages. So I think there's a great great appeal to any developer who's not necessarily into all this decentralization, but easy to basically administer and manage yeah. their content up in a massively scalable way. I think there's a, like a yeah, use case. Yeah. And how do ENS, uh, ENS domains compare to uh, DNS link, for example? OK, uh, so D yeah, that's yeah. a great question. Great question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yes, so like, uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so like, uh, you know, currently, if you, again, I have to show this. Yeah. So if you do the big command and see us for the uh, DNS, you, it basically says in the matoku.east, you know like DNS, not just IP address, you can put the text record. Yes. So usually you have to put this text yeah. DNS link, right? Exactly, yeah. But to do that, DNS really doesn't have like a uh, API. So you have to go to every domain registrar site to do it, right? So you can't do programmatically. Uh, right, but right. this is managed by smart contract. So if you okay. integrate the DAP as your app, yep. you can programmatically set it and it automatically sets DNS. This DNS server yep. uh, you know, natively kind of integrates IPFS, so it does it for you. So you can 
sense. So it automates yeah. the process of yeah, actually yeah. Uh, mapping yeah. the DNS yes. link entry in the DNS register. Yeah, so if your app is actually integrated with say, Ethereum, yeah. managing these DNS link through Ethereum is nice. so a lot, lot easier. Okay, so it makes it super easy for yes. app dev developers yes. of Ethereum yes. to yes. integrate with yeah. DNS link technology. Yes. And that yeah. awesome. This is another cool. way to make uh, developers life easier. Yeah. You don't want to do like yeah, DNS yeah, yeah, administration. Yeah. That's Scary yeah. stuff for most developers. So just as a final note, closing note, uh, where is this project heading? What's in the future for ENS and ENS DNS? Can you can you tell us in a bit more, like what's coming? In the yeah. So I think uh, so. Uh, SDNS project got like yeah. received a grant from IPFS. So like yeah. Jim McDonald, the developer, spent a time and it's already production ready and it's up and running. So yeah. you already know the link. Yeah. Nice. So I think we have to make the the N server a bit more stable. Make yeah. sure it, it doesn't go down. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing. And then probably yeah, try to get all ETH domain so you nice. can just solve with ETH. Yeah. Awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.